I got something that I want to show you guys today. It's a photo book. No, not another one from Magnum. Here it is. All in Good Time by Hersley Van Kissero. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank Ben Q for sending me this desk lamp. If you've been watching any of my previous videos, you probably would have noticed this light sitting on my desk. I've been using it on a daily basis for a couple of months now, as a light for my monitor. It really helped reduce the strain on my eyes during those long editing sessions. I also use it as a reading light. It's nice to have a comfortable light source when flipping through your photo books or even checking your prints. The dial on the top of the lamp gives you total control over the lighting. It allows you to adjust its brightness and its temperature. I found this extremely useful and I've even used this feature to light some of the scenes in my videos. If you're looking for a nice desk lamp for your workspace, be sure to check this one out from BenQ. Ursley Van Cassero is an award-winning visual artist and street photographer based in Dumaguete City, Philippines. He is a well-known documentary photographer in his city, having many of his photos showcased in local exhibitions and news publications. Aside from his local success, he has also been featured in various international publications, such as the Los Angeles Times, and View Magazine. Hersley's work has always been one of my main sources of inspiration. So when he announced that he was coming out with a book this year, I knew I had to get my hands on a copy. The series of photographs featured in this book paints a simple story about Hersley's hometown. By simple, I don't mean that the book is one-dimensional. In fact, it's got many layers to it. The simplicity that I feel comes from the lifestyle of the characters portrayed in his photos. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves through simple activities. A majority of his photos are of children exploring their environment. Laughing, running, jumping, and playing. Doing so without any care in the world. These scenes 
are all very relaxing to look at. As you progress further into the book, you're introduced to the working class of Dimageddi City. The people here are hard at work. They're performing difficult tasks, but they all seem to be doing them at a comfortable pace. This book reminded me a lot of the days that I spent traveling around Southeast Asia. I've never been to the Philippines, but I assume it's quite similar to many of the other countries that I've visited. Hot, humid, almost unbearable if you're not accustomed to it. The strong warm colors in Hersley's photos captures this sense of heat. And occasionally, he'll slip in some beautiful blues to help you cool off a little. Flipping through these pages was a truly immersive experience. Technically, there's a lot that we can learn from Hersley's photos. He plays with many popular techniques that you see in street photography and executes them at a very high level. His compositions are mesmerizing. His timing, impeccable. His understanding of natural light produces colors in his photos that are beautifully saturated in a very natural way. What stands out to me the most about his work, from a technical point of view, is his ability to visualize his scenes in complex layers. The characters, shapes, highlights and shadows, they all work together seamlessly. I often get asked about shooting layers. It seems to be something that everyone strives to be good at, but easily gives up on. Truth is, no one can give you a guide on how to shoot layered compositions. It's a skill that requires hours upon hours of practice. And even when you do put in the work, it kind of all comes down to luck. And by luck, I don't mean that there's no skill involved here. This rare moment in time where everything aligns perfectly comes around every so often. And when it does, only a skillful and experienced photographer will have the ability to notice it and capture it. To wrap this up, I want to congratulate Hersley for putting together this impressive body of work. This is a great book, and one that I'm lucky to have in my collection. It honestly couldn't have come at a better time. 
I've been struggling with my photography ever since moving away from my home. And this book, your photos, gave me a reminder that I just need to put myself out there, think less, and just absorb what the world has to offer.